Present problem is of uh, gate uh, 2012 and it's also a one mark and uh, this problem is also based on power structural density. So first uh, we'll read out uh, this problem and uh, then we'll uh, give it solution. A power spectral density of the real process XT for positive frequency is shown here. The value of E, expected value of X square T and magnitude of the expected value of XT R. And this is the power spectral density given here. You can notice here uh, this is power spectral density and this is the omega axis and uh, there is a spectrum here it's a triangular shape spectrum and there is a impulse function and uh, here there are four options uh, given here and we have to see uh, what are the values for expected value of x square t and expected value of t magnitude so we'll uh, see this problem uh, here PST is given, we have to determine the mean square value, E x square t, that is the E x square, e x square t basically means the E x square t, E is the mean square value, okay, so this is the mean square value, so uh, we can uh, determine this uh, mean square value and this mean square value is also the average power and uh, the other part which we determine is the magnitude of the mean so first we'll try to find the uh, uh, mean square power e x square t is 1 by 2 pi minus infinity to infinity s x omega d omega okay we take uh, integration from now 0 to infinity so this will be twice so this will cancel sx omega d omega now sx omega d omega is basically the area under this triangle uh, it will consist of the area under this triangle plus the area of the impulse if we take the impulse and we try to find out uh, the area that uh, 1 by pi half of base into base this is 1 kilohertz into height of 6 6 is the height you can see from the spectrum 6 is this height 6 is this height so half base into height plus area of the impulse and this impulse area is 400 so if we simplify this you get 6400 over pi so this is the value of the average power and uh, we have to find the uh, EXT that is the mean value and the magnitude of the mean mean value is basically the DC value if you try to see near omega is 0 there is no DC value of this signal so there is no DC value of the signal so we can see that uh, this DC value of the signal would be 0 and if it is zero the magnitude of this will also be zero so uh, option B is the right choice here this option B that is 6400 6, or pi and zero these are the two values okay this is also a very uh, simple problem involving the concepts of power spectral density okay thank you